Hi folks and uh, welcome back. Again we're at War Plant Pacific. I'm going to play Okinawa 1945 but this time I'm going to play it from the side of Japan. I'm uh, keeping everything historical to start off with. I still haven't read the rule book as of yet. Still getting a feel for the game and hopefully those of you who are interested in purchasing the game itself can see uh, the game in action. Um, so the Americans uh, end up going first in this scenario, so they're going to be attacking. See how the AI reacts. Looks like the first American attack has opened up the, a pretty big beachhead. Uh, this unit here is uh, trapped, so I'm going to bring him down and see whether or not I can capture a port. Um, these units here, I'm going to have to make a stand at some point in time. Uh, when I take a look at the lay of the land here, I've got some hills here, but this is an open space, so I'm going to be very uh, uh, open to attack. Um, I'm taking a look here, and what I think I will do is move this unit back and fortify, fall back. This unit here will also fall back, and I'll throw this unit here, and provide the headquarters. Let's see whether or not the AI will actually um, be able to break through here. There's not much Japan can do other than to possibly set up a defensive line. Uh, in the fortified areas here. Uh, this is interesting. It sent three. The AI has sent three American troops to attack this single troop here. I'm going to stick with the hills. Force them to uh, actually uh, attack when I can be a little bit more defensive but unfortunately this is a very weak unit and when I check supply I am still in supply this is a supply hex that's good these units are not moving not much I could do it's interesting that the strength of this unit is three Defense is three, defense is four, so I think I gotta move my headquarters here. Give it a stronger line of attack. Again, three units are heading north there. I haven't seen them use any air units. In fact, the AI seems to be retreating the A, uh, their units here. The circles here indicate ports that are five or greater. It's an addition to uh, Pacific that doesn't exist in Europe. Maybe it'll be added later on. Again, only one American unit. Two units are here. Looks like they've moved their units from our last game into ports. But again, not putting any pressure uh, down in the south. So. Again, from the Japanese point of view, I don't want to change anything. So they've destroyed one of my units, but now they seem the AI has sent two to the south has kept two actually up north and wow looks like the AI is going to try to capture the northern objectives first the 
We've captured one supply. Looks like the, the AI has left to Tango alone. Ships within the area, and yet there are no port interdiction. It looks like I may have to read the rules a little bit here. That's a little different from Europe. The AI has not uh, provided any threat as of yet. Now it looks like they're moving down to cause the Japanese a little bit of uh, a little bit of a headache here. So I'm behind fortifications here. It's called the marginal marginal line. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, they've left one of the victory objectives open. The AI did not send a unit up and all six units are now starting to come down to attack. By keeping two American units in this vicinity it prevented me from uh, exploiting their movement up and maybe cutting off their supply. But again, let's see what happens here and how they handle the fortification. Well, it looks like they got one unit now going up to Taco. Okay, so now I'm going to place uh, my units on hold here. Defense here is four, one, and three. So I'm hoping that they can hold out. We're gonna find out. Turn off supply. The Americans are coming in for an attack now. It looks like the AI has now captured the last victory point tackle and is now moving down. There are ships in the vicinity here, but I do not see any issue with port supply. This is a main supply source, so yeah, I'm in full supply here. The American AI will now have to attack at some point in time. Again, I still don't see any port interdiction here with regard to uh, either the carriers or anything. I'm worried about this unit and this unit. Those are the two that you have two American infantry units in place to attack. Let's hopefully they can hold out. Interesting move by the AI. Get pulling away and not attacking. So far, the AI has just just been simply bouncing back and forth and not really putting any pressure on Japan. That's heavily fortified within the mountain. From the Japanese point of view, there's not much I can do other than wait for the attack and then try to counter in some form or fashion. It's almost like the AI is tempting me to get off the fortifications, but there's no point in me doing so. So, it didn't require much work for me from the Japanese point of view, and I've got an individual major victory. Uh, the line of defense that I set here uh, the American AI did not attack whatsoever, which was a little disappointing. So uh, from my standpoint, uh, the AI did not behave the way I would have behaved. I would have tried to punch through as I did in the previous game, but uh, obviously the AI uh, um, thought differently and uh, didn't want to, uh, to attack. 
So when you're playing this game, you might want to up the AI levels uh, a bit also so that uh, um, when it's doing its calculations to see whether or not it'll attack, it will have better odds. So in the historical levels, when the units, American units are facing the Japanese units, somewhere down the line a calculation is saying that you're going to end up losing more than actually gaining so no attack is accomplished in fact they do this little dance within this area here so that was uh, a little bit unfortunate but uh, that's the AI in action as the allies in uh, the introductory scenario and as you can see here Japan got a major victory here by just fortifying the uh, the mountain uh, hexes here well uh, they're fortified hexes called the Maginot Line and I still haven't read the actual manual and one thing I noticed no, no air was used to either damage or suppress the Japanese so that's something that uh, needs to be worked on uh, from the standpoint of the AI so this is the second video and uh, from the introductory scenario uh, I might try head-to-head -head just to see or hot seat mode uh, uh, just to see how that's different from uh, the AI thank you for watching take care for now stay safe bye now